they have a two-headed monster in Louisville, which is going to really help, not just in this game, but as conference play heads on. Tenth play of the drive, they go to Atwell around the edge, and Atwell finds the end zone. Touchdown, Louisville. When you run the ball that well and you have as much misdirections happening, it's so difficult for the defense to keep contain on the jet sweep. We heard Coach Satterford, Coach Satterfield refer to him as reminding him of T.Y. Hilton. Part of that is his speed. Part of that is he's 5'9", 153 pounds, but keeps it and gets positive yardage. Second down and six. Cunningham firing deep for Atwell. Atwell's got it! Second touchdown today for Cunningham and Atwell. And the Cardinals have a two-score lead. And this is exactly what running the football on first and second down does. Every defender is in the box except for the guys playing man-to-man -man coverage. 2-2 Atwell, too much speed from the left, bringing him all the way across the field. And what a confidence builder from Malik Cunningham, the redshirt sophomore, getting the start and dropping an absolute dime. Got hit hard, lost his helmet on the last drive. Conley came in for one play, now he gets a chance to lead one drive. He takes a shot down the middle for Atwell, and how about that for your second throw? Atwell takes it in. The true freshman, Evan Conley, wow. How fun for this guy. Has no idea he's getting on the field today. And how about the confidence of the play call? First and 10, let's let him take a shot. They got the look that they wanted. Western Kentucky expecting them to line up and run the ball and take the pressure off the true freshman, and instead, he drops back. There's nothing left. Deep over route. Massive play for this Louisville offense. Third time Evan today. Conley. Yeah, third time today, Tutu Atwell has found the end zone. And how about that for your first collegiate completion? 16th play of the drive, longest one of the season for the cards into the end zone. Caught. Waiting for a signal. Touchdown. 2 2 with redemption on the catch. A 2-2 with a little toe tap into the end zone. And a little chatter. Guys bumping their gums down in the end zone a little bit. Let's look, take a look at the, the feet. The ruling on the previous play of a touchdown is under further review. 2-2 with the toe tap. Let's see if he gets it in. Ball delivered perfectly. That's oh, yeah. not just one, but two in. Yeah, he got both in. That's good, not just on Saturday, but we'll give it to him on Sunday as well. How about the way to cap off that drive? 16 plays, 66 yards. And here's one and more look at it. a perfectly delivered pass. After dropping the previous catch, 2-2 Atwell with the redemption reception. And it all set up by the fake punt. And that kept the drive alive, Dusty. Here's the call. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Now the two. Got it off. And will throw. And diving into the end zone. And did he step out? It is a touchdown. 2-2 Atwell gets in. A nine-yard touchdown reception. And you look at what happens here. Atwell's just going to run an out route, but it is uh, Fitzpatrick runs up the field. These two defenders for Wake, they end up getting caught in the wash, and they can't keep up with Atwell's speed. And that's why when he catches a little flat route, he ends up walking into the end zone. Let's see if he got in. And they are going to review the play. And you know, it's dangerous when you have an offensive play or really anyone crossing the goal line, reaching out with the football. And you're lucky that that ball doesn't hit the ground and come loose and you know end up looking like a fumble. But that clearly, if you freeze it right there, that's great. That, that's a touchdown as he's reaching inside the pylon. And again. Looks good from here. And Dave, the 150 pound Atwell has just got so much quickness and speed and you can just see the difference out After on the field. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. 2-2 Adwell. 
Don't short him on the poundage, 155. <laughs> you got him at 150. Last year to this year, just a massive dedication to running the ball. And that is right well, there's another way you can run it. One man to beat, he'll beat him. 77 yards for the score. It becomes a lot easier to have an explosive offense when you have guys like number one carrying it. And right there, that won't go down in the record book as a run, but because the ball was tossed forward, that's technically a pass. However, has that same effect in 2-2 Atwell using his speed coming all the way across this field from the slot position and outrunning the entire Virginia defense for the score. Boy, how impressive has Joe Burrow been this year? Incredible. I think Joe Brady, the offensive coordinator hire from New Orleans Saints, I think he's going to be in line for the Burrows Award. What he's done with Burrow and that offense has been remarkable. Third and three. Hawkins in the backfield. Cunningham complete to 2-2 Atwell. Still on the move. 2-2. The booster kicks in, and he is gone. Touchdown Cardinals! Hello Dade County, I'm back! 80 yards! From the guy that went to high school just down the road at Northwestern High. Saluting his fans that made the trip to see him. Just a shallow crossing route on third and short. And Miami misidentifies and they lose him in the middle of the field. And it's a nice job by Mikel Cunningham waiting, being patient, allowing Atwell to come open, hits him, and then it's speed to the sidelines as Tutu Atwell does the rest. Wow, explosive play by Tutu. He's got Hawkins with him in the backfield. And he'll look to throw. Right down the middle, and he connects with Atwell. Atwell darting outside. He's heading to the end zone. He's going to go all the way. 74 yards for the touchdown. It's a great job of pass protection by Louisville offensively. And that allows them to pick up the blitz, Cunningham to stay inside the pocket. And then we talked about it at the top, Dave. The speed that Louisville has with Atwell and Fitzpatrick. Protecting the ball is one of the key reasons why he is in playing. Has to go to the top. Has to go to the top. No one's going to catch him. Don't mess with my tutu, Mark. Maybe <laughs> ah, that dude, the roadrunner, is gone. Don't mess with my tutu. Tutu Atwell gets behind everybody. Well, we need to update those stats because now Mikhail Cunningham has a lot more yards. There you go. A lot more yards than even one more touchdown pass. Tutu Atwell just been outstanding playmaker for this team and fantastic game already today. Shalafu makes it 28-10, Louisville. And Tutu Atwell, young man out of Miami, Florida, is explosive. All right, just walking off the line. Bye-bye. That's what they call a bang eight route. You start up a little post, and at about 12 yards, you just go straight for the goal posts. And look how Mikhail Cunningham just leads him up there. That was a miscommunication on the left side of the screen, but he just floated it up there and really spent 200 yards for just one player, but still a little bit. Two -two. I've said it before and I will say it again. Do not <laughs> mess, mess with, with my 2-2. Two -two. Ah, that's the line of the night. Well, you can't mess with them and... The effort is not ceasing on this Louisville offensive side of the ball. Good play fake. And then you get the ball in number one's hands, and he is not going to be denied another trip into the end zone. How about Mikhail Cunningham? He has 
provided so much for this team, throwing the ball, running the ball, not everything has to be a deep shot down the field.